Okay, here's our next rational function that we're going to graph. What do I do first, ladies and gentlemen? I have to factor. So the top, there's nothing to factor. I'm just going to do this right up above, right up here. And uh, top's just going to stay a 3x. The bottom, open up our parentheses. x and x has to multiply up to 2, so 1 and 2, and then add up to positive 1, so positive here, negative there. There we go. So I've got it factored. Next, let's find some asymptotes, starting with the vertical ones. Let's vertical, I can, uh, this is where the bottom's equal to zero. I can have x equals one and x equals negative two. All right, let's go ahead and plot those. x equals one. Very nice. And negative two, that's right about there. Okay. And uh, since the multiplicity on both of those is understood 1, we know that both of these are going to be disco dancers. One side up, one side down. Horizontal. Do I even have one? The degree of the top is 1, bottom is 2, the bottom is bigger than the top, so it's y equals 0. Dash that in. Nice. Okay. Get some points. How about x-intercept? x-intercepts, it's where the top's equal to zero, that's just zero, zero. And if the x-intercept is zero, zero, then the y-intercept is also zero, zero. Origin. Notice that is right on the horizontal asymptote. So that means, in this case, we get to cross the horizontal asymptote. Now, here's the problem. At this point, we don't know any other points. We don't know, for example, if I look in the bottom, if it's supposed to go like this, erase that, or if it's supposed to go like this. We don't know until we plot in at least one other point. So here's one tip for you. The last couple of exercises, I didn't need a single other point. I had enough information to graph it. On on a, on a few of them, you need at least one other point so you can see where you're supposed to get started. So I would suggest just picking an easy point that's on either side of one of the asymptotes. So how about I try x equals 2 right here on the right hand side of the first asymptote. So let's do it with the factored form because it'll be quicker. If I plug in 2 for the x up top, I have 6. And on the bottom, 2 minus 1 is 1 times 2 plus 2, 4. 6 over 4 is 3 halves, or 1.5. So I have the point 2, comma 1.5. Plot that. 2, 1 and a half, right about there. Now we have enough information to graph it, because I cannot cross this horizontal asymptote, so I must start up at the top, cross through this point, and then go to my asymptote. Since the first asymptote is a disco dancer, that one, the right-hand side starts upwards. On the left-hand side, it's got to start down. Cross through the origin, and this is the only place where it crosses either the x or the y-axis. And now, whenever it crosses through, oops, whenever it crosses through, it's going to go towards that other asymptote and then just follow its path. Again, we have another disco dancer. The right-hand side was up, so the left-hand side has to be down. So start it down, and it's not going to cross the horizontal asymptote because it only crosses right there at the origin. All right, let's see if we got it right. So there's the vertical asymptotes. There's the horizontal. Right on the money for the origin, you probably couldn't see that. It's so small because it was so accurate. And now let's see the actual graph. Well, pretty, pretty close. I mean, I'm off a little bit right here and right here. And I would expect no different from you, especially if you're using this one. So let's erase this and erase. Where's my eraser? Oh, I was hitting the wrong one. There we go. Keyboard shortcut, if anybody cares, it's Control-E, not Alt-E. So there's that graph. Let's look at uh, another one in this video. Now, um, you're going to see a relation between all three of them in this video. Okay, I did it on purpose. 
So let's look at the next one. Look at this factor form. You see that factor form? You, you see it? You see it? Now look. It's the same exact factors as before, but what I did is I put a whoops. <laughs> Spoiler, uh, I put a squared, so it has a multiplicity of 2 on that one. Since that one has a multiplicity of 2 on it, that means that this one is going to be a referee. But the other one is still a disco dancer, so that one's still a disco dancer because it has a multiplicity of 1. So the vertical asymptotes are still x equals 1 and negative 2, so I can put those things in there. Um, 1 negative 2, right? Horizontal asymptote, well I increase the degree of the bottom so now it's even bigger than the top so it's still y equals 0, dash that up in there. x-intercept, top equals 0, still at origin, and the y-intercept is also the origin, getting lazy. Just like before, I don't have enough information to plot anything, so I need one more point. Can we check two again? Sure. It's on the other side of one of these asymptotes. So if I plug two in the top, I get six. If I plug two in the bottom, two plus two, four. Uh, two minus one is one, so one squared. It's exactly the same, three halves or 1.5. So I have the point two comma 1.5 also on this graph right there. And uh, let's say we have referee on this one. That means both up or both down. Disco dancer on the second one. So just like before we have enough information, this one has to start upwards to cross through this point because it is not going to go through the horizontal asymptote until we get to the origin. Okay. This first asymptote at 1, it's a referee. So if it started up on the right side, it's also going to start up on the left side. So it'll start there, and then it'll cross over finally at the origin, and then zoom over to the other asymptote. OK, now on the other one at negative 2, it's a disco dancer. So on this one, if it started down on the right side, it's got to be up on the left side, like so. Let's see how, how good I did. Asymptote, vertical, horizontal, point intersection, and then graph. Ah, it's, it's this little section again. I need to get it a little bit closer to those asymptotes. All right, clean that thing up a little bit, make it look pretty. Clean, clean, clean. Da, 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 da. This is my favorite part of the day. Not really, just kidding. Mm -hmm. Get rid of that team. All right, one more of those. Look at that equation. Look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. Now look at it. What did I change? I put it uh, squared, a multiplicity of 2 on both of the factors in the bottom. That means that both of these things are going to be referees. So both of them up or both down. Okay on either side of the asymptote. So vertical asymptote is still in the exact same location. x equals a negative 2 and a positive 1. So dash those in, dash, dash, do, dash, dash. And at 2, negative 2, dash, 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 dash. Both discos, disco, disco. Horizontal, it's at the same place, y equals 0, because I just increased the bottom's degree again, so it's still bigger than the top. Where is my x-intercept? Still at the origin, 0, 0. We know about that. And so is the y-intercept, same place. So, just like the previous two exercises, I need an extra point. Let's try 2 again. Remember, the reason why I'm trying to is because it's not on one of the vertical asymptotes. I just need a point, a test point, basically. So let's plug 2 in here again. Plug 2, I have 6 on the top, or on the bottom. 2 plus 2 is 4. I have to square it. Times 2 minus 1 is 1 squared, which is 6 over 16. 6 over 16 divided by 3, no, not by 3, by 2. 
three eighths. So two comma three eighths. A little bit closer to the x-axis this time. So we're right in there. Um, all right, so again, I have enough information. Then this one has to start up so I can cross through that point and then get close to the x-axis. Disco dancer, so both sides are going to point up on the first asymptote. And it'll cross, oh, that's, no, no, can't have that. That's terrible. Let's try that again. Get closer, get closer, cross through, and then zoom over to this one. Still a little bit on the ugly side. I have another disco dancer. This one started down, so on the other side, on the left-hand side, it must also be down. Okay, uh, let's check out this graph, the real one. Asymptotes, intercepts, couldn't even see it because it's right on the money. And there you go, nice big graphical confusion. Let's erase so you can see the good picture. Very nice. I was pretty good. I was pretty dead on it, I'm going to say. All right, so that's it for this video. We still have got uh, a few more of these exercises to go, so uh, maybe you want to try them all by yourself. I don't know. Maybe you should do that and then uh, check your answers in the videos. Well, it's, it's, it's up to you. I'll, I'll let you choose.